Alright, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to be installing the ArduPilot Mega 2.6 on the Skywalker plane and working with the power module to see if it works with a 4 cell LiPo and uh, mounting the U Blocks GPS and compass module and making an extension cable for the 3DR telemetry radio and mount that on the plane. But before we do that, let's just glue in a couple of these pieces that hold on the horizontal stabilizer and then there's another one that uh, bolts down the pod on the front of the plane. Alright, we'll just go ahead and insert that. to get any glue we can away from the screw hole. So that's done and that's done. I've picked out a location to mount the Ardu Pilot and I'm going to just uh, temporarily velcro these on here for demonstration purposes while I'm hooking up the wiring and testing out everything. So just put a little piece of velcro down the bottom here and I'm just going to stick it on. See, that's about the right place. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to stick one on the GPS as well. Okay, so I have them both mounted the Ardu Pilot and the U Blocks GPS compass module. And I've cut a hole for the USB port right here so I can access that on the Ardu Pilot for programming. Okay, let's talk about wiring up the Ardu Pilot Mega to the receiver and to the servos and a little discussion on the battery. So I'm on the Ardu Plane site right now, uh, APM Plane, and it's called plane.ardupilot.com slash wiki slash Ardu Pilot setup right here. So that's where it is. Now what I'm interested in is going down to the wiring diagram at the bottom of the page here, and here it is. Now this is a wiring diagram actually for the APM 2.5 and I'm using the 2.6 so there's some minor differences. One of them is I'm not using an XP, I'm using the 3DR telemetry radio and it's connected to the APM on a split cable which uh, supplies uh, the data and voltage both to the uh, telemetry radio and the minimum OSD. Uh, I also have the Immersion RC video transmitter, so that's the same, and I have a, I have a PZ0420 camera instead of the GoPro. I uh, also have a different video set up here for the voltage. I don't have this wire. I'm supplying the voltage with a separate battery. I do not have the air pressure sensor, but I could add that in the same way. Okay, so let's talk about the 3DR power module down here. The 3DR power module supplies voltage, 5 volts to the APM, and also supplies data for your voltage and current, which can be displayed on the OSD. Uh, that, this power module cannot handle more than a 4-cell LiPo, so keep that in mind. No 5-cell or 6-cell LiPos, only 4-cell, and I have one here that was recommended by uh, Dick Gibson and it's a 4 cell uh, 6000 milliamp hour LiPo. This will power the ESC which for me has a built in SBEC which in turn supplies 5 volts to this voltage rail. This voltage rail will supply voltage to the three servos that I'm using and this is necessary because the APM doesn't have enough current output to run servos and they recommend not doing that. So we have to float this rail so we can separate it from the voltage from the power module. So to do that, we pull out JP1 right here. It says JP1 off, so that's the way we do it. Now in turn, we, let's talk about the uh, wiring that we're going to be doing. Uh, the throttle 
actually connects to the input pin. So this is the receiver. The outputs of the receiver go to the inputs on the APM. And the throttle goes to pin 3, aileron to pin 1, elevator to pin 2, and rudder to pin 4. And then we have another output that we're going to run to uh, input 8 to control the modes of the Arduino pilot, like return to home or uh, stabilize mode and such. Uh, I'm probably going to be using AUX1 because AUX1 is a switch for me and that's what I want to use. It's my uh, gyro switch and uh, AUX3 is actually a knob so I don't want to use that for this setup. Now the outputs just follow the same pattern as the inputs. You have your three servos in the same place they were over here and the throttles coming out here to the ESC to run the motor and the APM can control the throttle so that's interesting. So let's go ahead and wire this up. Okay, I've printed out the schematic here and here is the receiver right here which corresponds to my easy UHF receiver right here <clears throat> and here are the wires right here that run from that run from the receiver here to the Arju pilot inputs. And you can see here I've taken the throttle which is on pin 1 of the receiver and run it around to pin 3 on the Arju pilot. I know it's a little hard to see but I just wired it up according to this schematic here and kept the wire short. Now on the outputs, which are over here on the schematic, you can see where the ESC wire goes in and it's the flat wire. The two servos here for the uh, elevator and rudder are these twisted wires. So you can see where the uh, servo wire, where both the servo wires are going in there. And you can see right about there in the middle on pin 3 is the ESC wire which not only supplies 5 volts to this rail here for the servos but is also getting signal from the Arju pilot to control the throttle. One important note is that I'm actually getting power for my receiver from the Arju pilot which uh, I heard was recommended. So I made some changes to the schematic. So this reflects that I have servo wires here with three wires in them and I'm getting the voltage from the APM over to my receiver on all of these wires. Also I removed this wire because in this schematic they were actually using this output for the flaps which were over here. I'm not even going to have flaps and they were getting voltage from over there from this rail and I'm not going to be doing that. I I decided it would be better just to let the Arju pilot feed the voltage to the receiver. So this wire is gone. I took that out and I also removed this wire because like I said I chose to use AUX1 to control the modes on my Arju pilot. So that's some important changes there. So if you were going to add this wire back in you would have to remove the uh, red wires from all of your servo wires here because you wouldn't be want to get voltage from the APM and from over here from the uh, this bus which is fed by the ESC you wouldn't be able to get voltage from both of those places without doing some damage to your equipment so one or the other I chose to do it this way and down here is the power module that we spoke about before and like I said you can't have more than a four cell battery and that's going around here and plugs on this plug right here on the Arju pilot. It's got like six wires to it. The wire beside it there, the one that's right next to it right over here is the wires for the uh, compass and then the GPS wires are here and they both go into the U-Blocks GPS module here. So I've made this little plug, this little adapter plug here to adapt the power module to fit the battery. And here is the battery. It has this connector here. So let's go ahead and plug the battery onto the power module to see if the uh, 
system powers up. We'll look for the lights on the Arja pilot and the GPS and see if it can handle this 4 cell battery. There we go. I can hear the servos moving and you can see the light blinking right here and over here. Now this just means uh, I don't have a GPS lock yet and I don't expect to get one because this is sideways right now it's not pointing upward but it looks like the 4 cell battery is working fine everything is powered up and I heard the servos work so uh, we're good to go so far and that's the basic placement of everything right now I found the harness that came with the Archer Pilot for the OSD and the telemetry radio are kind of short so I'm gonna to have to extend them now what I found out is you can actually remove these wires by lifting the little tabs and then just pulling the wire out like that and you can replace it you can take a servo wire like this and do the same thing and just slip that same connector into the hole on the other one and you can you can then extend your cables so there's that coming out like that and then you can just poke it back in the hole where the other one was so like that and slide it up in there so by doing that I can make any length cable I want using these, these uh, servo wires that's what I've done here so I've got these servo wires on the radio connector and they're real long so now I can extend that out and what I'm going to do is solder the other ends right to here like that on the cables for my radio from the Arju pilot and that way I can reach down near the uh, tail of the plane where I want to put my my uh, telemetry radio right here and then just plug my homemade cable right on there like that so that's the idea so there's my two cables all completed and there's the leftover little pins that I took out of the sockets but the telemetry radio and the OSD, minimum OSD, are now on extension cables okay the video is getting kinda long so let's wrap it up what I'm gonna do next is uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the wires here for the uh, telemetry radio through the fuselage so they come out where I'm going to mount the radio right here and then I'll run the wire for the minimum OSD up this direction so it comes out here where it'll be on the on the pod, the video pod in the front of the plane and then we'll go ahead and put the other half of the plane on, just go ahead and glue it in I'm going to use the glue that came with the kit I found out from uh, Bard Dog 726 that this was actually contact cement there's nothing written on the tube but that's what I'm gonna do put a thin layer of contact cement on the fuselage half uh, let it get tacky and then fit the two halves together I also found out that the welders glue that I used down here on the tail for a hinge doesn't seem to be available anymore at Lowe's or Home Depot I don't know what's going on but uh, I don't know if you can use goop instead or whatever but probably the best thing to do is just use some of these hinge pin things, pin hinges that you can get at your hobby shop these are Dubro and you can use them to hinge your control surfaces alright that's it for now see you next time